Hi, it's Chris. It's a beautiful, sunny, breezy, cool day. I've had several viewers ask me if you can solar charge your Rad City e-bike batteries. So I'm gonna take a look at that today. This is Sue's Rad City Step Through 3 bike. The battery's charge port is on the side. The charger that comes with the Rad City says it's 48 volts, two amps or it takes 120 watts. If you look at the actual output, it's 54.5 volts when it's not loaded down. The Red City bike motor says it's 750 watts. The battery is a 48 volt battery, but it's a 13S configuration and 14 amp hours and 672 watt hours. The manual says it's made out of Samsung 35E cells and it has a 30 amp BMS. Here are the three MPPT charge controllers that I'm testing. The waterproof Genison, it's non configurable. And an MPPT that I've used before with Ryobi batteries. And I tried, got this new MP7210A. I used the Bouge RV MC4 connector kits to make up connectors for all the MPPT solar controllers so that they can connect to the solar panels. I crimped on connectors to the end of the outputs so that I could connect to various testing devices and cables. On the MPT7210A, you have to set the battery charge voltage and I set it to 54.2. On the CTKE MPPT controller, you also have to set the battery charge voltage and I set it to 54.2. The Genesun MPPT charge controllers have to be ordered for the voltage that you want. So in this case, I ordered 54.2 for the lithium. Here's the three panels I tested. On the left is the 100 watt Renogy folding panel. Then there's the 30 watt panel. And then on the right, it's the Mega Solar folding 100 watt panel. I've got an old Renogy 100 watt folding solar panel. It's connected with MC4 connectors to a Genesan charge controller. Just so I can make sure everything is working, I'm going through a current meter and you can see that we're getting about 57 watts right now. The panel laying flat. The output of the charge controller is connected into the Red City bike battery. The battery can be charged either in the bike or outside the bike. This is using the small MPPT 7210A solar controller and a Renogy 100 watt folding solar panel. This is the Mega Solar 100 watt panel. I've got MC4 connectors plugged into the DC out of the controller and I've got it set to 20 volts. They're going to the Genesan charge controller and I've got an extra meter just so I can see what's going on. It looks like we're getting about 74 watts right now. The Mega Solar solar panels are nice because they fold up to the size of a three ring, a loose leaf binder. They're 100 watts and they fit pretty nicely in my side bags here. I've got the Mega Solar panels connected to the MPT7210 controller. Fortunately, this keeps on resetting. I've now got the Mega Solar panels hooked up to the third MPP solar charge controller. I've used this before. It's pretty nice. And it looks like it's getting about 70 to 
72.73 watts. This is the 30 watt TP solar panels. Again, they're connected to the Genesun charge controller. But I'm only getting about 12 watts out of the panels, so it would take a really long time to charge up the battery. I built a solar trailer for my other e-bike and for kicks I hooked it up to the Rad City to see if it would charge. Unfortunately, I don't have the right axle hitch for the Rad City to pull the trailer. It would have been nice to be able to check the pass-through charging. Well, after doing some testing, it looks like the Mega Solar panels are the best fit for this application, and the Genesun and the CTKE charge controllers well, if this has been helpful, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.